Hello everybody, Glowstone here, and welcome back to a new video. This is going to be kind of like a guide thing. Um, we're going to be setting up a hard drive for the Wii U, because Wii U's can't use SD cards, even though they have an SD card slot. It can only use hard drives, which I bought an SD card, didn't work, had to return it, bought another hard drive, didn't work, I had to return that. But I finally bought a hard drive that the re reviews said that it works with the Wii U. I will leave a link to this exact hard drive, but when I bought it, what you or should come with too, even if you have a separate one, it should be the same. It should come with a hard drive. Um, right here, this is a one tetrabyte one. Uh, you don't need one tetrabyte at all. I was trying to look for like a 200 gigabyte one, see one for cheap, but I didn't find any. This was the cheapest one. It was like, it's still pretty cheap. It was only like 50 bucks, but I wanted to get one that was like $30 for that was only like 200 gigabytes, but. It should come with the hard drive itself, um, which kind of looks like a capture card, and then it should come with this, which is um, the USB cable that connects with here. It has like a weird shape. But you're not going to be using this, so keep that out of the way. Because, and you guys, you might be thinking, whoa, wait, is this wireless? No, it's not wireless. So um, you're going to actually be needing to go over here and getting one of these, a USB Y cable, which basically it's the same exact thing, has the same exact shape, except on this end, there's two USBs, which makes it easy to run the, this high-powered gigabyte thing on this very underpowered system, the Wii U. <laughs> so, um, let's just get straight into it. I will show you the steps later. Uh, I'll show you the steps on how to set it up. Right now, I'm just going to do the outer setting up, so uh, let's get started. So what I recommend doing first is um, disconnecting every single USB on your Wii U. So right now I have this controller, the Wii U Pro controller, hooked in by USBs. I'm just going to take that out. Um, everything's dangled, but I'm pretty sure that that kind of messes with the USB storage de device. So I'm going to just take this out. Okay, well, everything is tangled in here. The reason that I'm, I got one of these is because I wanted to play games like Metroid, the Metroid Prime Trilogy, but I wanted to play it without um, needing to use, I wanted to play it, uh, but if you buy a physical copy, it's really expensive, like a hundred bucks, but you could pay for $20. So I'm just going to put my USB side, I have, it's a mess of wires right here. Some of these aren't even like for the console, <laughs> these are for like this, since I have a Switch right here and a Wii U right here. But right now, so there's two USBs in the back, and you need two USBs. So you either have both the USBs in the back taken, both the USBs in the front taken. I'm going to use the front because I like the back having my controller. So take your, ow, USB Y cable and see the two things. You want to plug this in to here. So let's do that. I just got to get the right side. Okay, well, I'll just plug these both in. Okay, it was hard to do that with one hand because I need one hand to hold the camera, which is just my phone. And then you want to get this one and just hook it inside there. Also, this might be a little late, but make sure your controller is off while doing this. Otherwise, you'll get an error message and it'll, like, close the Wii U. But I think we are good. I'm pretty sure I have everything that I need. It's really simple to just set it up. Okay, we're well just making sure everything is plugged in tight. Don't force it in, that'll ruin it. You don't want to break anything. But yeah, okay, let's turn on our console, see what happens. Okay, I'll try my best to set it up. Uh, <laughs> I literally have my gamepad under, so the gamepad is the little screen and the TV is the big screen. But it says, you have connected a USB storage device and not been set up with the USB, the, the use with this console. Perfect, this is what I want. Oh my gosh, I, I didn't think this would actually work because it's my first time formatting it. Do you want to format the device so it can be used with the console? Please note that the Wii will delete all data currently saved to the USB storage device. I have zero data stored on this thing, so yeah, we're gonna press format. This, um, this will delete all saved data from the USB storage device once deleted data cannot be recovered. Are you sure you want to format the USB storage device? Format. Perfect, okay, this should be working. Format complete. So now, um, it's gonna go to like the Wii U menu and load. My camera is not super high quality, so it's not going to look the best, but I think that is fine. So the Wii U takes a while to load. 
And I literally have it upside down right now. I have it upside down because that's the easiest way for me to put it. Here we go. Okay, now... Um, here's just some folders. If I want to, like... I'm... Just to make sure that it's put the default, we're going to use our thing, this thing, and there's also a thing that I need to do. So we're just gonna wait. It takes forever to load, and I'm going to actually go down to the bottom to where the save data is and kind of find it. I, it's upside down, so it's kind of hard to find. <laughs> is this it? No, that's re we, we Remote. Okay, where is it? Data management, okay. Copy, move, delete data, format USB storage device. We're gonna click that. Um, I'm just going to do format USB storage device. But I think it already formatted, so I think I'm, I think I'm good, but here, yeah, let's copy, move, let's do this. And there we go, free space, 931 gigabytes. Says, yeah, this was a one tetrabyte, you're not gonna be needing anything close to this. But here we go, here is your thing. This is just the thing, easiest thing I could found. So yeah, I think once you use all your data in the system memory, right now I have 21 gigabytes in the system memory. I'll be able to use that. But oh my gosh, I'm so glad this actually works. <laughs> so now I can play Metroid Prime Trilogy with it. But yeah. So and now it works. The reason you needed the USB Y cable, because before if we didn't have the USB Y cable, it would shut down. It would not work at all. So it would it would just be so annoying. But here we go. I think it's working now. So if we like go to the eShop. I'm just going to see something, like, at the download page. So, I, I'm just going to make sure it's, like, working a little bit. Yeah, it takes quite a while to load. Wii U, very slow. But, okay, I'm going to go actually down to Nintendo eShop, because I want to see if everything is working if i download something it'll go to that oh look at all the old games that i had when i was a baby oh skylanders that was awesome oh we also had stuff like zombie U. I don't even know why i had that but i did wow that was i didn't have a lot of games <laughs> i didn't have a lot of like good games i didn't have like any mario games besides for mario kart I feel like it was taking a little longer to load, but now that we're here, um, um, Twilight Princess, that is a big game. Um, okay, well that wasn't just Twilight Princess, but... Oops, I did not want to do that. Go back, go back, go back. Okay, I, I did not want to go to the purchase, up. Oh, see, I like, <laughs> okay. Breath of the Wild is an even bigger game than Twilight Princess. I am just going to click that. I don't think I even have enough data for Breath of the Wild. I'll we'll have to see. Space required. USB storage device, 931 gigabytes. Um, you, it's very blurry on the gamepad, but you can see on the TV. 931 gigabytes, yeah, so. We have enough. We have very much enough. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you um, figured out how to download some stuff. Now I can download all my Switch games. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to download all these Zelda games. Switch games. I'm in mean Zelda games. So yeah. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. If you liked the video, do not forget to give it a like. If this helped you, if you have any questions, please say in the comment section below. I will try to answer to all of you. See if you guys have any questions. Try to answer them. I'll do it as best as I can. Thank, uh, thanks so much for watching.